So now that my mantle is all cleaned, it's time to decorate it. So I like to start with my mantle first and then I work my way down. I'm going to keep my mirror um, up there. I have a lot of questions on, and I'm sorry that that light is on, but we do not have morning light in this room, so I have to have the light on. So I've had a lot of questions regarding where I got that frame. So long story short is, this used to be the doors of my hutch in the kitchen that I share with you all the time. And um, I demolished the, <laughs> the hutch and I kept the doors because I liked the shape and everything. And just not too long ago, I had mirror cut to place instead of the windows. And I just love how the shape is up on my mantle. So I'm going to keep the mirror there. So everything that I'm going to be placing on my mantle and my hearth, I'm going to tell you where I purchased it, but you can find similar items up on my Amazon storefront. If you want to go over there, you can shop my family room. I have all the holiday stuff that I use that I ordered on Amazon or some similar stuff. So I will link that down um, in one of the comments um, below. So let's start with my staple pieces. I always use my candlesticks. The candlesticks that I purchased on Amazon, they were a little pricey, but I have an old Amazon account that gives me points on my purchases and it accumulates $2. So I waited until I built enough points to um, help me out purchasing these candlesticks. I love the look of these and I am so happy that I have them. So anyway, I'm gonna place the taller one close to the mirror and the medium size, because there's three sizes, I'm gonna place that on the outside of the mantle. And I am going to use some battery operated candles. To be honest, I hardly ever turn them on. They're just more for looks, but I have the, um, the three inch battery operated candle and the wicks when they're turned on they uh, float and they look like real candles i love them and i also have these up on my amazon account and i'm going to place those if i'm tall enough now that i have my candle holders up there i want to balance this side out since i have heavy items here i want something here and I am going to place my lantern that I purchased at Kirkland's. I added my DIY wreath to it and a blue candle. Now I have the wreath up on my blog and I'll link that below if anybody wants to jump over to my blog to see um, how I made this wreath. So I'm gonna place that on the other side of the mirror. So now the, the mantle is even. To me, it's balanced. So now I'm going to add my third candlestick, which is the shortest one of the three, and place that next to the lantern. So now I want to add a little bit of color to the mantle because right now it's all neutral. I'm going to use my vase here that I purchased at Walmart. It came in white. I purchased it a couple years ago, um, but I taped off everything and spray painted it a periwinkle blue. I love this color. I used a high gloss. I always use Rust-Oleum um, paint. So then I just added back the details that I couldn't tape off onto the vase. And I am adding some eucalyptus that I purchased at um, Hobby Lobby. And I bent the stems up a little bit so they'll fit in my vase. And I'm just popping three stems into the vase and sitting it up on this side of my mantle. And then I'm going to use the other vase that, that I found at Walmart and I spray painted it um, the blue as well. And I am using this bundle of, I'm not even for sure what they're called, but I found them at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. I'm bending the stem so it will fit nicely inside the vase. And I will fix it to where it will look better. <laughs> and I'm going to place that on the other side of the mantle 
next to the lantern. This just gives that mantle a pop of blue that I like. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add something in front of the two candlesticks because I don't like that space right there. So my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, gave this to me. It is a plaque. It says, all the love a heart can hold, and it has a woman holding a baby. So that's me and Miss Kaylani, I'm sure. But anyway, I'm going to place that in front of the candle holders. So that's all I'm going to do up on the mantle. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor. So what I did is I added some grocery sacks to the bottom of the basket just to give it um, some filler so my stems, because they're pretty short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take stems here. I don't know what they're called, but I purchased these at Kirkland's um, for Easter. And I'm going to use this, just sit them in the basket. And that's kind of going to be my fillers. Then I'm going to take another stem that I purchased at Kirkland's last fall. It's got a little bit of blue flowers to it. And I'm going to place that in the center of it. What I'm trying to do is form a base in the basket so now I can sit all the, all the flower bushes inside and they'll sit nicely. So I'm going to take this bundle I found at Hobby Lobby and place this just like this. I spread out the leaves so they're separated. And I'm gonna place that smack dab in the middle. I kind of mix the other stems in with it. I am going to add two stems that I purchased at Hobby Lobby a while back. They are really old. Separate the stems, they're kind of wiry so I can do that. And I'm just spreading them out so that they're kind of airy. And then I'm going to place it on one side of my basket. Just plop it inside and kind of arrange adding some of the other stems inside that just so it looks mixed up. And I want it to look like wildflowers, so I want it kind of messy. Make sure that all my flowers are noticeable and not all in one clump. Then I'm going to take the other one, spread it all out, and then place it on the other side of my basket. And do the same thing, kind of arrange the flowers so they're all not in one little bunch. Mix them all up. No rhyme or reason. Just kind of making it look messy. Pulling some of the stems up if they are shorter than the others, pushing some down. To me, it looks like a basket of wildflowers that I placed in a um, basket here. Now that I have my basket the way I want it, I'm going to sit it on my hearth here. And since my fireplace since it's summertime, we don't turn on the fireplace, so it's safe there. It's not going to catch on fire. Just giving it a little more something, I'm going to add this spear I purchased at Hobby Lobby several years ago. And I'm going to place that on the hearth, sitting it next to my basket. So that's it, all in it done. I love that the vases bring just that pop of blue that I want in the room. I love the wood tones, the brown in the vases, the candlesticks, the baskets, they all blend nicely. I love it. So if you get inspired on how I decorated my mantle or my hearth, whether it is putting candlesticks up on your mantle or using a colorful vase or adding some greenery or some texture to your decor. Before I sign off, I just wanted to say again, please sprinkle my video, go up to my page and start following and liking if you haven't already. I appreciate it so, so much. Y'all have a great day and God bless.